I always wanted to be a rock star. I dreamed of being a mom. And now to have my family, my team, my fans here with me, this is beyond my wildest dreams. I think what's fun about the documentary is that for people that already kind of know me and come to the shows and have an idea of what it's like, I think it's gonna be really fun for them to see really what it's like, what it takes to do what we do. And then for people that don't get me and that never have and that think I'm just some like man-eating, so what, screaming, annoying, obnoxious pop star, I think that it's more about life and and how, how much we all have in common, maybe just as parents and humans trying to make it in the world, than it is about a concert. Pink released her double platinum debut album, Can't Take Me Home, back in 2000. And today, 21 years later, her resume includes nine hit records and three Grammy Awards. The 41-year-old artist's most recent project, a brand new documentary titled All I Know So Far, follows the singer during her 2019 world tour and will begin streaming May 21st on Amazon Prime. I want it to be worth it for my family. It's a concert, it's a tour, but it's also the story of our life. The film is directed by Michael Gracie and promises a backstage look at Pink's life on the road as she balances being a performer, wife, and mother of two beautiful children, Willow and Jameson. The idea came up between Michael Gracie and I and we had worked together when Willow and I did A Million Dreams. And we love The Greatest Showman so much. It's like Willow and I share that love so deeply. And then we worked together again on Walk Me Home and I guess for him, the fascinating thing was he had never seen a mom changing diapers while having a creative meeting and, and um, just the way that this big life intersects with just being a normal, crazy family. So for him, that was the thing. For me, I was like, why would anybody want to watch that? Like, why, why would anybody care about that? But to be honest, there's not a lot of women headlining stadiums and doing two nights at Wembley Stadium while having a family on the road. Mama, mama, mama. And there's something fascinating about that. And for me, it's fascinating because I'm such a thinker and I'm always trying to figure out like, am I doing the right thing? And what am I doing? And can a woman have it all? And what is all? What does that even mean? And, and the answer is no, most of the time. You can't, like it's, it's impossible. And it feels like you're climbing, climbing Mount Everest in your way, right? But it's just so also magical what I get to do and who I get to be in this life and, and what it means to Willow and Jameson and what it means to fans that come and see the concert and what it means to people that don't really get me and are never gonna get me. But, and anything I do, I'm gonna do 110% and be completely transparent, so. They were there, the cameras were there all the, all the time. The kids didn't mind. Of course, when the 2019 tour was over and the cameras were long gone, the balancing act continued. Today, Willow is nine, Jameson is four, and Pink is still very much their rock star mom. Oh Lord, it's day to day really. <laughs> I mean, we live in a very, very strange world. Right? We live in a weird time. And I know that already makes me sound old. That's what our parents used to say, right? But I really do think this is one of the strangest times that a kid could grow up in. Like social media and just the way the world is. And so for me, I'm just, I'm just thinking about that stuff. Like what kind of a human am I raising? Am I raising a kind person? Am I raising a resilient person? Am I teaching them you know, a little bit about the world and trying to maintain their innocence, but also giving them the harsh truths. And am I really letting them be who they they can be? And is this tour getting in their way? Am I getting in their way? What's it gonna be like to be my kid? And are they gonna be okay? Like, what's where's the manual for all this? And there just isn't one. So you lead with love and I have a, terribly wicked sense of humor. So now they have it, they had no choice. And we always joke like they had no, there was no chance of them being not weird. 
and it's working out. They're totally weird and joyful, and I'm loving every moment of it. But they don't know anything else. Like, I grew up, my mom was an ER nurse, and my dad was an insurance salesman. I grew up in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. My, the furthest I went was, like, the Atlantic City shore for to see my grandparents. So their normal is different. Their normal is, yeah, we go on tour, and I miss the dancers, and I want to be in wardrobe sewing a pillow. And I have a ball pit in mommy's dressing room. And it's just, I don't know. But for Willow, it's like, I want to go to school. I want to uh, go to the Culinary Institute of America and become a baker and open an amusement park and be a hiking guide and a ski instructor. And maybe I'll go to outer space. Jameson wants to go to outer space. He wants to be an astronaut. They're, they are normal kids, but touring with kids is impossible. I did the impossible. It's impossible. And for a while, there were a lot of other pop stars that were you know, emailing me and calling me for the playbook on how to tour with kids. And so I kind of wrote one. I wrote a playbook for other moms, but it, at times it really truly is impossible. But you just get through it and you keep going. I think people get Carrie wrong, really wrong. And it's his fault, it's the way he is on social media. He'll just start fights with anybody, which he thinks is hilarious, which I don't, but he's so sensitive. Carrie is such a sensitive man, and he he's so open to people. And, you know, coming from that sort of like moto world, which can be construed as like white trash and hypo-masculine, he's not, like he, he's just a sensitive man, and that's why I like him. He's super hot, but he's also super sensitive. He's also a dick, like don't get me wrong, I'm not totally sure that this thing's gonna work out. <laughs> Pink and former motocross racer Carrie Hart were married back in January 2006. By early 2008, the couple needed a break and decided to separate. But roughly one year later, in 2009, Pink and Carrie were back together. In 2011, they welcomed their first child, Willow, and then Jameson arrived five years later. Long-term relationships are not easy. It is not easy. It is much easier to stay in the salad days and jump from relationship to relationship because then you don't have to fix the problems that keep recurring and you don't have to fix yourself. So I think the idea of a long-term relationship is to, that you have to end up fixing yourself. You can't fix the other person. So it can be challenging and there's good days and there's bad days and there's things that pop up that you need to work out. And I think you need to keep renegotiating your contracts because I'm not the same person I was when we met and I can't be expected to be. That's not the point of life. He's not the same person he was when we met. And it, I think it's impossible, it's an impossible expectation for you to think that you're going to evolve at exactly the same pace as another person in exactly the same direction. So it takes work to, <clears throat> to redefine what that means and what's important and where can you give the other person a break and where can you give yourself a break. So our relationship has changed because I'm not 20. I met him when I was 21 like, and I was nuts. And not that I'm not nuts now, I just have a better handle on it. But Carrie was like this crazy single, moto guy and I was just this up and coming psycho pop star and so we've really grown up together and now we're like these super responsible parents that we have a farm and I make wine I have a vineyard and and he builds motorcycles instead of crashing them and we depend more on our village and less on each other for everything like I think when you first get together you look at that person as your entire world and a, one person can't be your entire world. You have to have other things. You have to have your own loves, your own passions, your own friends, your own time to yourself. Um, and now I'm a lot more, I used to be super like needy and <clears throat> maybe insecure. And now I'm just like, dude, do you. I'm gonna do me. Oh, let's go on a date Friday. I'll see you Friday. And also dinner's at 5.30 and you're cooking. So it's just, we expect less of each other, and that allows us to give each other more, somehow. My greatest joys 
it's so funny, like someone is with as much masculine energy as I have, the fact that I had a little girl and she comes into the world naked and sweet and untouched by humanity and uh, her heart is intact, her soul is intact. It was so healing for me to see how we start out on this earth. And I think she's just so magical. She's been my greatest teacher. And then Jameson comes in and he's just like this mini Chris Farley. And I don't know what to do with him at this point. I'm putting away money for his bail. But yeah, it's fun. It's just all so, even the hard days are a blessing. What are my goals? My goals are to not completely screw up my kids and to keep making music that is honest and to be there for my parents as they age. That's pretty much it. I wanna be a good friend. I wanna be a good daughter. I wanna be the best performer and I wanna be the best mama that I can be and that's it. Those are my goals. <laughs>